Many wines have a story to tell. But very few tell one as incredible as the story of Jean Léon. Jean Léon, a man, a time, a wine. A man. A dreamer, visionary, passionate, charismatic, non-conformist, a success story. Seferino Carrion was born in Santander. His childhood was difficult and marked by adversity. In 1941, a terrible fire raged through the city, burning down his family's home and all of their belongings. The tragedy forced the family to move to Barcelona. This is where Seferino Carrion decided to take his life in a new direction. At the age of 19, without a nickel to his name and a suitcase full of dreams, he embarked on a long adventure. After making a first stop in Paris, he tried to cross the ocean as a stowaway up to seven times. He finally made it on the eighth try and reached New York City. Upon his arrival, the first thing he did was change his name to Jean Léon. He worked any odd job he could find in order to make ends meet. He drove a cab, something that always filled him with pride, and he worked as a busboy and waiter. It was here, at the restaurant in the Rockefeller Center, that he began to absorb and admire the atmosphere around the actors who dined there. Eventually, he crossed the country, trading the East Coast for the West, and arriving in the city where his luck would start to change, Hollywood. A place synonymous with glamour, the home of show business. For that very reason, the city captivated the young Jean Léon. The stars aligned in his favor when he landed a job at Villa Capri, the restaurant owned by Frank Sinatra and the legendary baseball player Joe DiMaggio. Jean Léon's discretion and professionalism had its rewards. He quickly became one of Sinatra's most trusted assistants. In return, Sinatra taught him how to move in a world where he would meet many of the biggest stars of Hollywood's golden age, including Natalie Wood, Grace Kelly, and James Dean. In fact, it was with James Dean that he developed his first big dream to open the most prestigious restaurant in Hollywood, La Scala. A time. La Scala, located in the very heart of Beverly Hills, opened on April the 1st, 1956. The restaurant epitomized the 1950s and 1960s like no other place on earth. Every detail of the decor exuded elegance and sophistication and his clientele included the era's most influential names in Hollywood, the music industry, politics and high society. People like Marilyn Monroe, Jojo Gabor, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, Marlon Brando and Robert Wagner. John Leon and La Scala became so famous that glamorous best-selling romance novels by the likes of Jackie Collins and Judith Krantz featured him as a character and the restaurant as a setting in their books. The era marked the height of the American way of life, a time when everything was possible. Rock and roll was born, the jazz aesthetic was everywhere, and man landed on the moon. Without a doubt, the perfect circumstances for the young idealistic Jean Léon to make his first dream come true. Jean Léon was meticulous in selecting the wine for his dinners, lunches and banquets. The restaurant had an underground cellar where he stored close to 25,000 bottles. Amongst them, one could easily find the best wines in the world. But he had other bigger dreams. So he began pursuing his second great aspiration to create a wine bearing his name with which to delight his select clientele. A wine. Jean Léon began traveling the world in search of an area with specific characteristics that would allow him to produce a signature wine with a unique personality and identity. He found what he was looking for in Spain, in Catalonia specifically, in the very heart of the Penedès. In 1962, Jean Léon purchased 150 hectares of the very best land in the region. A year later, in 1963, he founded the winery in the authentic style of a Bordeaux chateau. To the great surprise of the region's wine growers, he replaced existing local varieties with skiums of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Chardonnay vines from renowned French wineries. A most unusual decision that resulted in the first Cabernet Sauvignon and Chardonnay wines produced in Spain. 
Jean Leon wines were the precursors of what we now call chateau or single vineyard wines, known as Vida Finca in Catalan. The certification issued by the government of Catalonia guarantees that the wine originates from grapes grown in a specific vineyard and displays a unique personality born from the interplay between the soil, the vines, the microclimate and the human hand. Changing times call for new approaches. In 2008, the Jean Leon winery began applying organic farming methods at the vineyards. And as of the 2012 vintage, our wines have been labeled as certified organic. In addition, all of the wines are produced in limited quantities and every bottle is strictly numbered. Jean Leon wines owe their current prestige to this careful selection process as well as to their quality and character. The story of Jean Leon is undeniably extraordinary and each exciting chapter can be relived through his range of wines. 3055 wine range. The most youthful and daring range in a tribute to Jean Leon's early life. 3055 was the number of his taxi driver's license in New York City. Gamma Vida Finca, single vineyard wine. Vigne Le Havre. The wine's named after the French port, where Jean Leon set sail for the US to pursue his dreams. Vigne Palau, a homage to the Palace of Santander, Jean Leon's hometown. Vigne Gigi a white wine made from grapes grown in the vineyard named after his daughter. And our icon wine, Vigne La Scala, the Jean Leon flagship wine, named in honor of his legendary restaurant in Beverly Hills. The first Cabernet Sauvignon to be made in Spain, produced exclusively in years marked by a truly exceptional harvest. Each vintage, features a label with the work of a prestigious artist like Tapies, Pujmati, Casamada, Winovart or Subirax, to name a few. When Ronald Reagan won the presidential election in 1980, the wine was chosen for his inauguration at the White House. Ever since Jean Leon entrusted his legacy to the Torres family in 1994, the Jean Leon winery has stayed true to the philosophy of its founder. It's committed to innovation and elegance in all of its wines in order to keep making history. A history that began with the story of a self-made man who fought tirelessly for his dreams. Jean Leon, a man, a time, a wine.